Mini Project 1 was um, delivered to us that first lecture week and we were encouraged to go and um, find an object and draw it and to record it in many different ways. Um, I picked up my stone that I had been already drawn um, in semester one but and painting but then also I'd just started a painting about these stones and the contours within it and um, so I picked up my stone and I began to draw it um, and recorded it in um, initially here in ink and conti and charcoal and then more ink and brown paper and then I actually just photocopied it and layered it and collaged it collaged it a few times and this is actually the back of one of those which I really liked the way that the ink had come through the paper um, then I put the stone on the photocopier and, did, and it's amazing how the photocopier picks up the detail and the tones within things it's it's remarkable um, then I began to frottage and um, yeah, on this already used cardboard recycled um, paper that I'd gotten out of packaging. And at the same time as this, I was doing a printmaking workshop um, over in Sulisquai with Carlton Barn. We were talking about printing um, and monoprinting and I asked her, could I monoprint from an object? So she actually instigated these sets of prints. Then I came home and I inked my stone directly and then I printed from the stone so this gave me some lovely marks which were just beautiful and they're textured as well so then i began to frottage from the actual print and it on different mediums and photocopying that and um, so it just gave me lots of lovely results which i was delighted with and yes i ended up doing more newsprint using different papers newsprint layout paper newsprint again and then um, putting them into the computer and blowing them up and making them slightly bigger. Um, they're lovely. Um, I really like these. Very, very happy with the results of those. And then um, workshop one in semester one had given me some casting and I had a desire that I wanted to cast the stone and I used Alginet to cast the stone initially. Um, I stuck it in a in a in a mold and covered it and then of course i had to try and get it out i had to cut it out that then created problems of how do i stick this back together to get as uniform uh, a positive stone as possible so i created i problem solving as i go as normal and i created and stuck wire in to create some scaffolding and some reinforcing within the alginate mould and stuck them back together and then cast it back and I ended up with this stone um, which has a few defects but I actually quite like them and um, I've left it as it is I haven't my peers thought I should paint it and try and replicate an actual stone but I actually like it in the white um, and um, took and photocopied it beside the real stone and I think it's amazing how plaster alginate can really pick up the details of of each different tiny little aspect of objects it's amazing um I'd also wrapped my stone round this paper wet paper and it had dried and it had held the mold and I had extra plaster that day and um I poured it into the cardboard and of course what happened but it poured out but then I have this footprint and these are very much footprints and I brought back to a thought of being in North Ronaldsea and seeing all the sheep footprints along the shoreline and how they've trodden in the same paths time over time over time and actually as you walk around the shoreline in, in North Ronaldsea on the huge big sto slab stone formations on the shore the sheep have worn paths into those stones. They've gone the same path time and time again. And that really hit me when I was there in June and I took lots of images of it. And it's that thing of treading the same path. The, 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 those that have gone before you have treaden, trodden the same path and here we are doing the same, that cyclic kind of lifestyle that we lead. So footprints became quite relevant. Um, continued to pl 
work with the stone, pressed it into plaster, pressed it into stone, uh, sand, um, making moulds, having some fun. Here's my stone inked up. Um, you know, put it, pressed it into sand and ended up with a sandy footprints. But I loved the contours that it, it really picked up with me pressing the foot into the sand and um and into the clay and this is the clay and it's just a delight it's really lovely i love the contours in this very much then describing the landscape that i'm very much embedded in and i try to paint and i love the contours of the land so really come in a full circle in that in that mini project one which was wonderful